Okay. Spike has announced the uh, nominees in uh, different categories for uh, the Video Game Awards coming in December. I fucking hate Spike. I hate all guy channels with, like, really bad programming. Right now, I'm sitting here just flipping off the Spike TV channel as we are doing this video. And I will not stop (laughs) until this video ends. Well, I guess it's a good thing that uh, we're not showing webcam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sitting here flipping it off. So, okay, let me just uh, take a look through here, because I was looking at these last night and just going, what the fuck? Uh, best Wii game? Galaxy 2's got it locked, considering the other three nominees. It's a Mario game, but it's... There's no contest. The, yeah. Which is sad to say because Kirby's Epic Yarn seemed like fun. I don't know anyone. Who, uh, who, I think Paladin has it, and that's the only person I know who has it. <laughs> Studio. I was going to get it, but I was like, ah, fuck it. Studio of the Year is Bioware, Blizzard, Bungie, and Rockstar. Gee, who would have thunk it? And interesting, interesting Treyarch is not included in this nominees list, even though Black Ops broke single day sales records. You want to know why they're not in there? Because Black Ops is terrible. <laughs> I, I, you know, I have family who is into the modern warfare shit, and they, they say it's akin to being smashed in the face with a hammer. And they, <laughs> and they're. You know, you know how I'm critical of fucking everything. They're yeah, more they don't they're less critical. So, what do you think would happen if I got a hold of it? <laughs> put a foot, put my foot through my 360. That's what would happen. <laughs> Still flipping it off, changing hands because my one hand was getting kind of tired. <laughs> Even it was also. Interesting note. Studio's not nominated. Game is nominated in three categories. Yeah, fuck that. It's... What is it nominated in? I need to scroll. It's in Best Multiplayer Game. Uh, Best Shooter. I think Reach would have it on Multiplayer Game. And Game of the Year. You look... Let me scroll down. It's the last one. Yeah. Come on. Game of the year. G. What? G. Nothing for Nintendo. No, it's it's real interesting that uh, three of the four nominees for game of the year are shooters. Yeah. No. Well, Mass Effect's technically an RPG. But it's a gun-based RPG. But you can make the argument... You're, you, you, are, you are shooting stuff and blowing shit up. It's a fucking shooter. True. And it, that came out at, what, the beginning of the year? Yep. That was real early this year. Yeah. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm also pretty sure that uh, Portal 2 is going to win most anticipated game. Are you kidding me? The, hands down... Because, you know, you have people like me who like Portal. And then you have people who like Gears of War but also like Portal. And Bioshock Infinite is going against what a lot of people were thinking uh, they would do. Trying to keep it, you know, same vein as System Shock with just two games. Arkham, you know, Batman Arkham Asylum wasn't, you know, hugely known. It sold well, but... Eh. Still flipping it off. Um, also, noted the fourth game of the year, God of War 3. You know, despite the fact that it's a beat-em-up, it's on the PS3. Yeah. They, they, I swear, like, shit like this is so biased against Nintendo or platformers or... Portal 2 is technically a platformer, but it's more of a puzzle. It's a puzzle platformer with, yeah. it's like, physics puzzles. Um, 
own spatial puzzles. Uh, with best indie game, I'm I'm myself am expecting Super Meat Boy. Yeah, you're probably right on that one. Oh gee, best best DLC shooter, 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 shooter. Who would have fucking guessed? None of what you know. Fallout's more of a RPG. Fallout has. Oh wait, Fuck, wrong year. I'm. My madness is catching up. Forget everything. <laughs> that I was two thousand nine, fool. Edit that out. Best downloadable <laughs> game. Um. Uh, that's probably gonna go to Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. All things considered. Just the fact that story wise alone, it's brilliant. Yeah. And then I, I'm just I'm just going to uh, mention this. It's hard to overlook a uh, a video a uh, award show on video games when your two biggest categories are best performance by human male and best performance by human female which each have seven yeah. nominees cuz you know in a video game it's humans that are the focus <laughs> let's see i know who james bond is and Amazing Spider-Man for male. Don't know who any of these female roles are. Oh, one real quick back to best downloadable game. How the fuck many little Croft games are they going to make? Uh, as long as... You know what? I have no answer for that. Best adapted video game. Lego. That's probably going to go to Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Spider-Man, Star Wars, Transformers. I heard War for Cybertron looks like a Gears of War knockoff, but I heard it actually plays pretty fun. Uh, Quite unlike Gears of War. Uh, Best graphics, probably going to go to God of War 3. Wow, Kirby's Epic Yarn made it there? Who the fuck nominated that? I don't know, but they obviously can see that the Wii's not the worst system out there. Because that's, that's what a lot of people give me shit about for liking the Wii. Oh, it has terrible graphics. And I'm like, really? If you, no, that, that's also one of, the re- one of the reasons why I hate P- uh, PC gamers right. who think the PC is the only good system. Because they bring up Nerd. the graphics. And there's one guy Nerd brought up like, imminent. super realistic graphics i'm like yeah you don't have a computer that can run that so fuck off but i digress yeah yeah and you're you're total you may say that but you're totally not gonna shell out three thousand fucking dollars to get that best soundtrack rap game which is no no rhythm game it's a rap game rhythm game rhythm game rhythm game yeah how the hell do you make a rap game it's like talkies on Guitar Hero. I don't care who you are. It's talking... To How the hell do you make a rap game? Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, but that, that was, is all. but that wasn't the same thing as Def Jam Rap Star. Oh, that's true. That that was fun. It was relatively challenging. <laughs> Best music game. That's probably going to go to Rock Band 3, all things considered. Yeah. There, there is kind of a uh, bias against uh, Guitar Hero, though. Yeah. Uh, best driving game, no one cares about that because they're driving games. Sports, uh, who I'm, cares? I'm giving driving well, games too little credit. At least they have decent physics. Sports games, I fucking will never give credit. Multiplayer is probably going to go to Reach. It better. Uh, Although, RPG, as much as I hate to say it, that's probably going to go to Final Fantasy Thirteen. Oh. You know what? Fable 3 all is playable. Fallout New Vegas is Fallout New Vegas. Mass Effect... Mass Effect 2, even, is sort of playable. Final Fantasy 13 you can get through by mashing the A button. Yep. Uh, of, of course, I don't like any Final Fan. I've never liked any Final Fantasy after 6. Uh, best action-adventure games... Ooh, that's... That's a toughie. Yeah. That's gonna be a tough one. Uh, I think it's going to come down to God of War 3 and Mario Galaxy 2. I would say Brotherhood, you know, 
can at least compete. Oh, I just want to point out that uh, these were announced on Wednesday. Donkey Kong Country Returns is on the list, even though it just got released today. Nice. Well, that just proves how good it is. <laughs> Best handheld game, uh, God of War, Metal Gear Solid, Professor Layton, and Super Scribble Knots. Only the last two are any good. <laughs> Fucking love Professor Layton. I... I hope to God I've done the petition to get it. Uh, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright stateside. Uh, best PC game is probably going to go to StarCraft. Dude, it's StarCraft, of course. Yeah. Better not go to Mass Effect 2. Is it, even though Civ Five is a pretty strong contender, it's going to go to StarCraft. Best PS3 game, no one cares because neither of us have any PS3 games. Best 360 game. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Alan Wake made it up there. Yeah. I haven't, you know, I've heard it, it, it play. It's like too much like Silent Hill, but that's just what I've heard. I don't actually own it. I don't have money. But who cares? Reach is going to take the category. Yeah. But Reach is fun. I will, yeah, I will have to contend to that. To that, they they take the best. They take the best parts of the of three, make them better. They take the best parts of ODST and make them better. They take the shit parts of ODST and make them better. <laughs> uh, it's it's like okay, we made ODST. We need to learn from our fucking mistakes. If you're playing if you're playing single player, if you bought ODST for the single player, you're out of your mind. Yes. Bad, bad story, bad gameplay. Firefight was fun. It's even better in Reach, though. Anyway, best Wii game. We we talked over this already. Yes. And Studio of the Year. Yeah. Basically just went backwards up this list. We did the first two, we went to Game of the Year and went back up. Who cares? <laughs> Limbo might take independent game, because I have that. It's... It's... What I, uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's it's going to be real close between Super Meat Boy and Limbo for the indie game. Limbo's fucking hard. What she said. Had to do it. It's a good thing I'm editing this. <laughs> You're still flipping it off. <laughs> just flipping it off. Just sitting here. Anyone comes down, they just see me. Sitting here, flipping off the TV and talking to you. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the TV. I'm looking at the game. And just switching back. Yeah. Still, game of the year. Shooter, beat em up, shooter, shooter. Shooter, beat em up. That's not very story driven. Shooter, shooter. Well, I wish they'd make, that, that's why I wish they'd make a freaking sequel to God Hand, because that was a very story driven beat him up. Plus, you know, fucking Fist of the North Star simulator. You don't know what that is? Well, congratulations, you're not a nerd. <laughs> Jay Bizzo. <laughs> Man, fucking 13. Well, is that all we have? I think that's pretty much all we got, and I think if we talk about this anymore, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Yeah, my hand's getting tired. I'm turning off the TV now. 